Good morning, CEO. It is week three, quarter four, and it's a Tuesday. So how is everything going now that we are, for this last fourth quarter, intentionally going after our income goal and doing those daily actions that really move the needle daily in our business? Well, yesterday, um, I briefly spoke about how I woke up. I was... I, uh, the way I woke up yesterday was by getting a phone call with um, someone calling me to work on a project, which, which really was um, confirmation that this new tapping, uh, visualization and tapping that I had as a download on Friday, yeah, Friday, and I started working on Saturday and Sunday is really working, and I'm going to share that visualization and tapping script on Friday right here in this group. But you know what? <laughs> this is wonderful news, right? To wake up and, and wake up to um, money, to wake up to a new project, to wake up to a new job. And even though it had nothing to do with, hi, Sandra, even though it had nothing to do with all of the direct actions that I've been taking day in and day out, it, it actually has, right? Because as you start taking action in your business, um, even more opportunities are going to open up to you because you're planting the seeds, right? And seeds grow, and 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 more things will come into your field. But yesterday, um, after doing that, I started feeling after receiving that awesome news, um, I started to feel a little strange in my body. And then I was presented with um, with a message that caused me to, from, from another individual, that caused me to set a boundary and set a boundary in my business, right? And not just give away something for free. So I set a boundary. This morning I woke up and I feel like I have a hangover. And this is great to talk about because some of you might be feeling the same thing, right? You're taking all of this action, you're doing all of these things, and all of a sudden it feels like this indescribable feeling in your body, that's how it feels for me, where I actually feel like I'm moving so slow, like through molasses. It feels as if I have a hangover and I didn't have any alcohol to drink. My nervous system is reacting to um, me breaking two rules. I broke two rules yesterday. And by rules, I don't mean laws but they've been my internal law, my internal rules. I broke two patterns. One pattern or one rule or vow that I broke was that earning money has to be hard, you know? Um, I know in my head that earning money doesn't have to be hard because it doesn't have to be hard. Um, but the rule, the program that's running underneath the surface that's been running for five decades is you have to work twice as hard to get half as much, right? I spoke about that last week. But in waking up to money being given to me for a project, just, just because I fell asleep and woke up, that was really breaking a rule. Money doesn't have to be hard, right? It doesn't, it doesn't have to be hard to earn money. Broke a rule. Even though it, it in the moment felt good, my nervous system is reacting. My subconscious is trying to fight back on that rule. Like, wait a minute, hold up, hold your horses, don't get too excited. You just broke a rule here, go take several seats. That's what my nervous system is trying to do. And I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it physically. I feel like, oh, I don't wanna do anything today. I don't want to do anything that's in my calendar today. I'd, hi Sandra, I'd rather just lay down, right? But I'm observing that pattern. The second rule I broke was, and I'm getting real, I'm getting much better at this, um, but it still does feel like I'm breaking a rule, was I held a boundary, I put my business um, first. I held a boundary and put my business first. That, um, that rule that I broke was mm, put everyone else first and you come dead last and your business comes dead last, right? So I broke that rule too. So I'm, 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 I'm feeling like this, the one-two punch and I'm feeling it in my body. But 
the, the good news is, and I, and I call this a, a backward spiral. Now, a backward spiral can last an hour, can last a day, it could last a week, a month, a year, right? But I know, and I'm about to share with you the tools to, to quick snap, jump it out in a hurry. And the first step is observing it. Like I'm not going to ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. I want to go lie down in my bed. I don't want to do anything in my business today. I don't want to continue to push the needle, but I'm observing that. I'm not going to lie down. I'm, I'm going to honor myself as I honor my business and just observe, okay, I'm feeling this and it's a, it feels like a backward spiral and it is not real. It's my nervous system reacting to the breaking or the, the dissolving of a program, right? I'm creating a new pattern for myself. And so the way my, my nervous system is fighting back it's not real. It feels real. It feels very real. It also feels very indescribable. It's hard for me to describe how it's feeling, but it's, I'm feeling it in my body like I just don't want to do anything. So the first step is observing it, right? And I, I, if, if you're journaling, you could write down, you know, when I go in, and it's stress, by the way. This is stress. When I go into the stress state, I start to feel, for me, I start to feel tired. I start to feel lethargic. I start to feel lazy. Those are the ways I start to feel. I start to feel like I have a hangover and I haven't been drinking. And I say things to myself like, right, you would write that down. I say things to myself like, let's see, what am I saying to myself? Um, yeah, I'm trying to connect to what I saved myself. Um, just go to bed. You don't have to do anything. Gosh, the house needs cleaning. Those kinds of things. Anything to distract me from what it is that I need to do to move the needle further in my business. And when I look at my goal, like if I were to look at my goal today, it seems, oh, and what comes up immediately is it seems like that was just luck and not the result of all of the work I've been doing. Right? So I'm, I'm automatically moving um, in part of that downward spiral, Hibani. Part of that downward spiral is I'm moving into the world of imposter syndrome. Like, oh, this was just luck and has nothing to do with my zone of genius or my zone of excellence or the work that I've put in. Right? So that's all, it's all encompassed in this feeling like I have a hangover. All right? So now the next thing that I like to do is um, I like to move that energy because right now it feels swampy. It feels really, really swampy. So there are a few ways you can, you can move the energy. You can tap and tap loudly and rant. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to grab a pillow and I'm going to knock the shit out of that pillow. <laughs> And I'm not angry. I don't think I am. We'll see. I'm not angry, but I'm really going to start punching this pillow and voicing whatever comes up, whatever wants to be voiced, because I really want to. I really want to move this energy. It feels, it feels very swampy and stagnant. Now, a lot of the first time I ever um, did this, like punch the pillow exercise. I was like, ooh, this is weird. <laughs> this is really weird. But afterwards, I was like tingling. My body was tingling all over. You want to talk about a, a quick start jump? My body was tingling all over, and I definitely wasn't in a downward spiral anymore. And some of the things I was saying was just like, whoa, where did that come from? It felt so unconnected to um, up-leveling of any kind, right? But it was exactly what was keeping me stuck. It was some of those old words and the old wounding around the old rule. So that's what I'm going to be doing in a few minutes. And you know what I'm going to do after that? I'm going to grab a bottle of water and I'm going to get back to the business of doing business. I'm Keisha Dixon. Let me know if you've ever experienced that feeling of a downward spiral after um, achieving success.
and uh, achieving your goals. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.